Welcome back. And this is going to be a really fun one because in this lesson, we're creating our dashboard page. We saved the best for last. And a dashboard page is usually the first page that a user sees when they log into the application. And our dashboard page is me featuring our client user flow and our admin user flow. And luckily, we can copy a lot of the blocks from our other pages and bring it back here. So on our dashboard page for our client, we want the client to be able to log in, see the company information that they belong to, see their projects that they have assigned to them, and any unpaid invoices. And then on the admin side, we want them to log in, see their open projects that they're assigned to, and any kind of invoices that are open for their client as well. So let's go through and start making it happen. So let's go to our dashboard page here. All right, and right away, you'll see that we have this header right here which is really cool. It says, welcome, logged in username. What do you think that means? Well, if I am logged in, it's going to show me the user that I'm logged in as is name. It's a way to add personalization within software. The logged in username is the only record or field that we do allow this for. But as you can see here, if I go here in the header, I can add this into any of my static text and it's going to show the user's name, which is really cool. All right. So I'm going to keep this here, but I am going to add a new block here. And it's going to be a list detail block with a side image, right? And for this, we're going to have it as a company. We want to make sure that the company name is my logged in users company. We want to show them their company info. And for the content here, we're going to go to title. We're going to say, welcome back username. And we'll make it left aligned. And then we'll get rid of that. Hide all this stuff here. We don't need to see any of that, but we do want to show the logo. All right, so the logo there, and we'll make it contain. And we'll just make it a little bit smaller. It's a little bit too big right now. So welcome back that. And then if we can also do the company name as well. Let's see, company name, there we go. And the company name right there. And let's change this to smaller text. And let's see, can we align center? No, All right left. We can just adjust the margin on the top to bring it right there to show the company name that they belong to. And instead of bold, let's just do default. There we go. That's looking really nice. So this is available or only visible to the client. So let's go to visibility and say all logged in users that are clients see this. And we're going to change the action button because we don't need an action button right here. And then we're going to adjust some of the styling to give us some padding there. That should be good. Now I'm going to actually go through and delete that one. I'm going to go through and delete this one too, because we have new blocks, well, blocks that we've already created that we're going to bring here. Let's go to our client details page. And let's take these blocks and let's copy them to our dashboard page. Dashboard, copied, go to dashboard. And now we have these blocks here. Now let's go to visibility and let's make sure these are only visible for our clients. And let's go to padding here and let's just make this look real nice. There we go. And let's just double check the source. We have projects and then we're also going to include on our conditional filtering company includes exactly company name. And in this case, it's going to be uh, yeah, the current records company name right here. We could also just do the current records company, the logged in users company. And I think that's the client experience for our dashboard. Let's just preview and see what it looks like quick. We're moving fast. Now we've done this before. We know how to build these blocks. We've already built it. We can reuse it. We're flying. We can build things so fast. So dashboard, nothing showing. Why is nothing showing? We're logged in as Leia, who is an admin. Let's switch over to Erica who is a client and welcome back, Erica company name, my projects. So cool. But we did forget one thing. We do want to show them their unpaid invoices if they have any. All right. So let's reuse the table block for invoices. Okay. And we have project invoices and just regular invoices. Let's see if the project invoices table block would be okay. Let's take this. Okay. And let's copy this over to dashboard. Go back to our dashboard page. Let's switch the styling, get rid of all this padding, make this look better. For this invoice, 
on this block. Let's get rid of that. We don't need to allow them to add anything new here. And then for this, let's just say, go to content. We'll say unpaid invoices, unpaid invoices. Great. Let me get the same size as that right there, unpaid invoices. Now the trick here is that we need to use a conditional filter to make sure that we're showing the invoices that belong to the company and showing the invoices where the status is not paid. Okay. So let's go to our conditional filters. And for these invoices, let's show company. Is there a company in here? Client includes exactly the logged in users company. Okay. So that's the first thing. And add another condition. And we want to say that the status is not payment received right there. So we have a double decker conditional filter. The first one is we're making sure that the invoice belongs to the company. And the second one is we're going to show all the invoices as long as their status is not paid. So we're going to show everything else. And matter of fact, we don't want to show voided invoices here either, right? So let's do another one. Invoice status is not void. We only want to show invoices that, you know, are meant to be paid here, right? And if there's nothing here, let's just hide the entire block. Now let's update our preview and see how it's looking. We might need to make that visibility only to clients. But look at that. Welcome back projects. We need more spacing here, but otherwise we have this unpaid invoice and they can, let's suggest it so they can't edit that and then we'll make it view, okay? So let's go over here, styling, to add some padding. That's good. For our action buttons, let's get it so they cannot edit. And then what else did we need? I think that's pretty close. Boom, 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 view. Great. For the client side, visibility, double check that. Invoices, gonna add some more spacing there again. Right, go back to our spacing here. All right, that's good. Let's double check the visibility on this that it's only visible to our clients. And that I think should do it for our client side. You see this see more button? I'm actually just gonna go and remove that button. And I can remove it by just removing the text. And that way it just keeps it like that. This is a dashboard page. It's not supposed to, supposed to contain everything. Should, it's supposed to contain quick links to wherever the client needs to go. Welcome back, projects, unpaid invoices. I can go here, that's great. It brings me to that invoice detail page, which is not showing up. That's strange. Let's go to view, open detail page, open details. Okay, that's fine. Let's go back to project invoices. Visibility here is logged in users. We detected that when we duplicated that. So, all right, so that's good. Now let's go to dashboard. I think that should be set. Let's just double check again why this dashboard, this detail page didn't show up. So that's a little strange. I'll look at, we are in our client's header and we don't have that client header yet which means we can't go back to the page so let's quickly do that and take care of that and so we're over here i'm going to delete these links and for our client header we want to do a couple things okay so for our client header we want to add dashboard which is going to bring us to this page and then we want to add projects, invoices, invoices. I think that's it for now. As you can see here that we have this stuff, like when you click on user profile, you'll also be able to see the user profile and the sign out. And then you can change these icons if you want to update them. We're going to make it black because that's our colors for this application. And then we're going to go back here and we're going to preview it. Now we should have our experience here, our header built. And so now we can go back to our dashboard. 
And now we can view this unpaid invoice. And why is it not sending it that? What's going on? We have our invoice detail page and our invoice detail there. And then look at, this is what's causing the problem. We left this in initially as protection, but there's going to be another way that we could protect this. And I'll show you in a later lesson. So I'm just going to delete this for now. If they're able to get to this record page, we assume they have the authority. And again, let's just make sure that only logged in users can see this as well. And that should protect this invoice detail page some more. And there's our invoice detail page. Excellent. Our client had our experience is up and running. So let's now do our admin experience for our dashboard page. So when I'm building out this experience, I like to do one user flow at a time. All right. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to send it to the bottom. Okay. I'm going to send it to the bottom because this is going to be for our admin. Now I'm going to go to admin, admin. And for this flow, I'm just going to say, welcome back. And then I'm going to hide the rest of the stuff. I don't need any of that other stuff there. That's going to be good enough. And then I'm also going to duplicate the projects. And I'm going to send this to the bottom. And this project is going to be, same thing, just admin. And the source for this, we're going to need to change because this is just going to show, you could say, for this, we can show all projects that are not done. Okay. We can say status is not done. All right. Cause we're the admin. We want to see all of our projects as long as they're not done. And then finally, let's duplicate our invoices and we'll say open invoices for this. Bring it all the way bottom again, make sure the visibility is just admins. Right. And then for this, we'll update the content. We'll say open invoices and it'll be the same thing, but we can actually get rid of this client one. Now we'll just say invoices. Payment is not received. Payment is not void. That should be it. Let's go to our refresh here on the preview. We're logged in as a client. So first off, we should not see any duplicate blocks, which we don't. So that's good. Now let's switch over to our admin user. And now on our admin user, we should see, ah, we're missing our welcome, but otherwise our projects is working. Our invoices is working. That's nice. So let's come back here. Let's switch this visibility to admin. It was there. That's interesting. Welcome back. Do I need to show something else for this to appear? So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a static block just to show you how to use these. I'll go with a hero with a call to action here. All right. And for this call to action, I'm just going to copy this content right here. Copy that. All right. This is my static there. And I'm going to get rid of that. And I... All right. So why didn't the list detail block show? Well, we didn't show any of the fields in that list detail block. And so if no fields are being shown. It's just going to hide the block entirely. And that's what happened. So now we are using a static block, which is always going to show. Welcome back. The user that I'm logged in as here are my projects. Here are my open invoices. That looks great. And then we can go and we can click through around here, go to our projects and our project details. We have all this stuff there. We have our task information which is great. Although something got wrong here, the following message, the application on a detail block is not being shown. So something on our task details is messed up. Let's fix that. I wasn't expecting a problem there. I thought that was good, but let's just double check that our task detail page is not going to give us a problem there. So let's go to task details. It's going to be our tasks. Test details, sorry. Test. See what's happening here? The logged in user didn't have access to that project, right? The actual user that I was logged in as. And so Leia didn't have access to that project that I was trying to access. If I add that to a project, 
No, that's a task. Ad campaign planning. And then what is ad campaign planning associated with? It's not a part of that project either. Right there. So Leia, she doesn't have access to that project, which is why she's not seeing this when it shows up. Let's just make sure that this is available to logged in users. And let's double check it this way. Just to prevent any future functions of problems of users not having access to the parent project that it's associated with. There it is. That's working. All right. We're all, we're running there. So we have our dashboard, our projects, our invoices, our clients. We're doing so good. I'll see you in the next lesson as we work to tie this course together. I'll see you there.